Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In the past few days, RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, has seen a significant update and has seen a very significant change to the way that it compiles its shaders. The gameplay you are looking at right now is Demon Souls running on this very emulator. These small hitches and pauses when we are compiling our shaders are exactly what you would experience when you played any game on this emulator for the very first time. If you are not aware, RPCS3, in a very similar fashion to CMU Emulator, uses shader cache compilation in order to reduce your stutter when you are actually in game. Due to this, the very first time you play your game, you are going to experience exactly what you are seeing right now. This small hitching and pausing is the game actually loading any of its in game assets into your shader cache so that the next time you experience them, they will be already loaded into your shader cache and you will not experience any of this slowdown or stutter at all. As I previously stated, in the past few days and weeks, RPCS3 has seen an update that introduced asynchronous shader compilation. This method of shader compilation aims to completely remove all of the stutter that the player will experience when seeing any of these effects for the very first time. Now that this new shader method has been introduced in the newest master builds of RPCS3, I feel that now is a very good time to cover it and let all you guys know that it is now a feature that you can use in this emulator. Okay, so before we go any further, I'm going to close my Demon Souls game and I'm going to actually show you how you can turn on this new option. Once your game is closed, all you need to do is come to your game, right click and come to configure. Next you want to come to the GPU tab, and then you want to make sure that you do not have asynchronous shader compiler disabled. Untick this box and hit the save button. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and delete my shader cache for this game, just to show you exactly what it's like when you load into the game for the very first time, and you are using this latest asynchronous compilation method. And here we go, we are now loaded into game in the exact same circumstance that we previously were. However, as you can see, when we are compiling our shaders in the bottom left hand corner, you can now see that we are no longer getting the hitches, pauses or stutter that we previously were with the old form of shader compilation. The slight flickering you are seeing on screen is a side effect of this new asynchronous shader compilation. Instead of getting the stutter and slowdown that we previously would have gotten, you can now expect to experience slight texture pop in like you can see on our player character right now. As with the previous method of shader compilation, once you have seen a texture for the very first time, you will no longer experience any of this flashing. As you see, when we loaded into the level, we got slight flashes from all of the new textures from the game world. When we run forward in this level, you can see that while we are compiling our shaders in the bottom left hand corner, we get these small bits of texture pop in, but in my honest opinion, I really do think that this is a much better shader compilation system than the previous one where we would get unplayable amounts of stutter, especially in certain games that have a large amount of shaders like Demon Souls, Persona 5 or Asura's Wrath. According to the information we have been given by the developers of this emulator, this shader system is a work in progress and is going to be further improved in future. So that's about it for this short update video on RPCS3, this PlayStation 3 emulator. Let me know down in the comments if there are any specific games that you would like me to test on this emulator. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.